tutorial, we're going to build a drop-down menu. Uh, that's what Android calls a spinner. And uh, it's going to be a simple layout. We're going to just ask what your favorite animal is, and then we're going to present the first item as a default. And by clicking on this little triangle, the user can pick any animal they want, and we're going to echo that animal in a toast message at the bottom. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a new Android project. And I'm going to call this Spinner Demo. We'll leave this stuff alone and we'll start with an empty activity. And we'll just leave it saying main activity. Okay, Android Studio is now done building the project. We're going to start this project off by creating the layout. So I've clicked on the main activity XML file. And I'm going to start by removing this hello world block that we do not need. And we're going to switch over to the design mode now. And I'm just going to get rid of this space here because we don't really need that. And I want to have a little bit more room to work with over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a text label over here and then we're going to put the spinner underneath and then we'll display whatever choice the user selected on a toast message down here. So let's go with a large text block which I will bring up here and if I double click on it I can bring up the text field and I'll say uh, uh, what is your favorite animal. Okay, there you go, and that's going to be right there. And then underneath that, I need to find this spinner widget, and I'm going to bring that right here. Let's just leave it there. And uh, that is something we need to change the ID for because we're going to be referencing it in our code. So I'm going to call that uh, animals.sp, animals.sp. Uh, for the spinner. And we'll leave that there and then the toast messages will just know to appear on the bottom here by themselves. So that's the simple layout for our app. Now we're going to write the Java code for the spinner and we're going to start off by creating a spinner variable in our main activity. And we're going to allow the user to select from a, a bunch of animals on a list. So we're going to first create a string array. OK, we have our spinner uh, choices array. And these are going to be the choices that we're going to present to the user. Uh, next, we need to initialize the spinner object. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to configure the spinner, and the easiest way to do that is to create a helper object called an array adapter. Okay, it's worthwhile to go over the arguments in the parameter list for the array adapter constructor. Uh, it needs to know the current object uh, as a context. And then we're, we have a choice of different types of layouts to use for our spinner. The most common one is this simple spinner drop-down item. And then we need to load it up with the choices that we're going to use for this particular spinner. Once we have this adapter, we can attach it to our spinner. OK, now we've attached the adapter we just made to the spinner. Now we need to tell the spinner that the, uh, the event listener is going to be handled by the current class. But this time it's not an on-click listener because what we want to do is we want to only have the event kick in when the item is actually selected. You can see we get an error here because the current class uh, does not implement this uh, functionality, so let's take care of that. And now it's complaining that we have not implemented the methods for this, so we're going to do that now.
and this one is used if they bring up the spinner and then exit it without selecting anything but we're not going to do anything if that's the case uh, we're going to use this one here and we're going to insert a toast message echoing the one uh, the selection that they made now looking over here uh, you can see that when this item is called there are several parameters that are passed this position identifies the position in the list in terms of the order in which the spinner was presenting the items and this view is what we're going to use uh, to find out the text that was selected I've added a toast message that will allow us to echo the choice selected by the user and now it's time to test the spinner I've got my emulator up and running and you can see it starts off with the default value which is the first item on the list uh, but now we can just pick any item we want and we get a toast message showing what item we picked.